Hi there! Thank you so much for joining me today. This video is going to be a tag video. I haven't done a tag video in a long time and I was recently tagged by the lovely Jessica Payne to do the this or that tag and if you guys haven't checked her channel out, please do so. She is an absolute doll. She's currently doing a Pan That Palette series where she's doing some serious damage on the Modern Renaissance palette and it's really cool to watch. So definitely check her out and tell her I said hi. The questions are a series of two different options and you just choose the one that you prefer. I will have the original tag video and her video linked below. It looks like there are six different categories makeup nails body fashion hair and random so i'm going to get started the first one is makeup blush or bronzer you guys know i love blush but i really don't think i could have a complete makeup look without bronzer so definitely bronzer lip gloss or lipstick lipstick i really don't own a lot of lip glosses i'm not a fan i prefer lipstick definitely eyeliner or mascara mascara foundation or concealer lately whenever the weather has been really hot and muggy I've been wearing just concealer like under my eyes around my nose maybe on some you know acne scars or blemishes on my face and I've been liking it because my freckles kind of show through and I haven't been having a lot of trouble with redness like I normally do so I've just been using concealer to spot conceal and then that's it and I feel like if I really did need like a full coverage face, I could just use concealer as foundation. So I'm going to choose concealer. Neutral or color eyeshadow. For the past, I don't know, six or seven years, I've really just been doing more natural looks, more neutral eye colors. I would say I have been playing a lot more with color recently and loving it. I think that's something I'm definitely going to be playing around with a lot more in the future. But... I think I would rather have neutral eyeshadows and then play up the lip with a fun color. So I think I'll choose neutral. Pressed or loose eyeshadows? Pressed for sure. I think that's so much easier to use than loose. And brushes or sponges? I do like using sponges a lot for concealer and for foundation, but I feel like I could just use my hands for that and just use brushes. I would need brushes, in my opinion, to do a good eye look, so I'm going to choose brushes. The next category is nails, OPI, or China Glaze. For years and years, I remember using this hot pink shade from China Glaze, and it's such a nostalgic thing for me. If I could find it again, I would buy it. But in my day-to-day -day life, I really don't wear nail polish anymore. I don't really wear it on my hands ever, and I don't have it on my to toes right now. I really don't wear it that often. I think I own like two bottles, and they're both from OPI, so I'm going to say OPI. But I do have a special place in my heart for China Glaze. Long or short, short, acrylic or natural, definitely natural, brights or darks, brights. I like wearing bright colors on my toes. Flower or no flower, probably no flower. The next category is body, perfume or body splash, perfume, it lasts longer, lotion or body butter. When I wear moisturizing products on my body, I usually use a bath oil. I'll put it on my skin when it's still wet from the shower, let it sit for a minute, and then kind of just pat my skin dry. And I like that because it doesn't leave a weird residue on my skin. And so if I were to choose between lotion or body butter, I think lotion would probably sink in faster. I feel like body butter would leave like a something on the skin. So I'm going to choose lotion. Body wash or soap. Body wash, I much prefer it. I think it's easier to use, and I love using a loofah. Lush or other bath company. I only really know of like Lush and Bath and Body Works, so I'm going to say Lush. I only own one thing from Lush, but I would say Lush. The next category is fashion, jeans, or sweatpants. I think I'm going to go with Jessica's answer on this. If I'm going outside, if I'm going out, jeans, but if I'm at home, sweatpants. Okay, so the thing is at work, it's business casual, so you're really not supposed to wear jeans to work, and I have two pairs of these really comfortable black slacks that I got from Costco for like 15 bucks each. And they're really comfortable. They're black. They look professional, but they're very soft. They're, they're like stretch band and they go up a little bit higher so they don't even have a zip or anything. And so they feel like sweatpants. Even the jeans that I wear now are like jeggings. And so maybe I'm going to choose sweatpants actually. Sweatpants. The next question is long sleeve or short long sleeve, I'm always cold, long sleeve. Dresses or skirts, dresses. Stripes or plaid. 
I don't wear a lot of pattern, so I would say stripes, but if they're very subtle and very thin and very faint. <laughs> Next question is flip-flops or sandals. I think for me personally, sandals help class up my outfit a little bit more so than flip-flops would. And also when I walk too long with flip-flops, they can be uncomfortable. They can hurt my feet. So sandals. Scarves or hats. I like scarves because they keep me warmer, but I like hats because they look nice. I like hats. I'm going to say hats. Studs or dangly earrings? Studs. I only own one pair of dangly earrings. I own tons of studs, and I don't even wear them, but still, studs. Necklaces or bracelets? Bracelets. I don't really own a lot of necklaces. If you can count watches as bracelets, I would definitely choose bracelets. Heels or flats? flats. Cowboy boots or riding boots? Cowboy, no, sorry, riding boots. <laughs> jacket or hoodie? Definitely jacket. I own tons of jackets. I own like one hoodie. Forever 21 or Charlotte Russe? I'd say Forever 21. If we're talking about like the fast fashion stores, I would choose H&M over those two, but for the sake of this challenge, Forever 21. Abercrombie or Hollister? I didn't really, I didn't wear either of those growing up. I think I own like one Hollister shirt. Mm, Hollister. Saks Fifth Avenue or Nordstrom? See, there's a Saks Fifth Avenue outlet near my parents' house, and I love going there for shoes. I get a lot of shoes from there. But when I'm shopping online, especially for makeup, I love Nordstrom because they have free shipping, free returns, and usually get really good samples. I choose Nordstrom. The next category is hair, curly or straight? Straight. I wish I could have some waves in my hair, but I'm too lazy to like actually curl my hair. So straight. Hairspray or gel? I really don't wear either, but I would say hairspray. Long or short? I prefer having long hair. Light or dark? I would say right now my choice is light, but I remember for years, like all throughout high school and middle school, I wanted to look like Megan Fox. I wanted to have her dark chocolate brown hair. So for the longest time it was dark, but I think now I prefer light on me personally. Side swept bangs or full bangs? So I've had pretty much the same hairstyle since I was a child. I really don't play around with different hairstyles. If I had the guts, I'd probably wear full bangs just because I think those look so cool right now. They look so edgy and on trend and I really commend you if you can pull them off. But I think for my like everyday lifestyle, I definitely prefer side sweat bangs. And last question for hair is up or down, down. I feel like I get headaches really easily when I wear my hair up. Does anybody else have that? And my hair isn't even especially heavy. I don't I don't know what it is, if it's just like the pressure or what, but I get headaches more easily when my hair's up. So definitely I prefer down. And the very last one is the random category. The first question is rain or shine? The rain, I prefer the rain. As long as I'm not out in the rain, I prefer it to be raining. Like when I'm inside or when I'm driving, I like the rain much more than it being really sunny. Summer or winter? winter, fall or spring, fall. I, I like I like the feeling and the smell of fall. Chocolate or vanilla? I mean, I want to say both, but I'm going to say chocolate. East coast or west coast? I grew up on the east coast. I'm in Pennsylvania. It's where I grew up, so I'm going to say east coast. I have been to the west coast a couple times, and I do really like the vibe there, but I prefer living on the east coast. And those are all the questions for the tag. Thank you so much for tagging me, Jessica. This was a lot of fun. If you are watching and you want to do your own version, consider yourself tagged. If you want to do your version, please let me know. I'd love to come check it out. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.